is my stuff going to work? Am I going to, my timing going to be right? Um, am I going to be in my head? Just found that. Hello, London. You well? Yeah. Long day at work? Yeah. Some of you probably hate your jobs. <laughs> yeah. Some of you probably like your jobs. I don't know. The most rewarding job I ever did, I used to work with adults with learning difficulties. Well, I used to work in Weatherspoons. Very <laughs> um, <laughs> so challenging. Um, Very challenging. A um, lot of couples in tonight. It's nice. I I've been with my girlfriend for six years. It's a long time, six years, right? But we're not ready for children yet. You know, we don't want any kids just yet. Right? Which I'll be honest with you, it does upset our kids. Um, <laughs> just really not ready for the commitment at the moment, guys. Um, it's a long time. We we've got an open relationship. Um, I recently found out um, on Facebook. Um, <laughs> But it's a long time, six years, isn't it? It's a long time. At the moment, um, we're trying to spice things up a bit in the bedroom, right? We're trying to spice our sex life up a little bit at the moment. And, and we were talking about maybe trying a bit of role play, right? A bit of dressing up for each other in the bedroom. And we were saying the other day what we maybe both would like. Yeah, and I was saying I'd like her maybe to put on a little nurse's outfit with a little nurse's hat and look like a cute little nurse. And she was saying she'd like me maybe to put on a little silk tie, you know, a nicely pressed shirt and look for work. <laughs> Your gags are wonderful uh, and like brilliantly constructed. Like, is it something that you sit down and you have a formula now that you sort of I follow? Used to, I used to when I first started. I used to have a sort of formula of doing it um, and write them and really carefully word them and mix it around till it gets the best. But now I sort of think I've sort of trained my brain like that. I can sort of yeah, I just get the premise. Sometimes I just say it on stage and it works well and play around with it. And also Twitter. Um, it's quite handy for seeing what doesn't work. <laughs> this, is a, this is a thing. A lot of comedians, like, are using Twitter more and more now yeah. because it really, it teaches you to cut out all the chaff from a gag and get down to the real crux. And I am Mr. Chaff. <laughs> but you can't chaff in 140 characters. I've got two kids. I've got two kids and my girlfriend. I love being a dad. I love being a dad, right? But she wants another one. She wants another baby already. You know, I don't think her parents are ready to take on another one. <laughs> you know? They're barely managing at the moment, right? But you've got to prepare for a baby, haven't you? You've got to prepare. Like, the first thing you have to do, you have to get the big book of names out, didn't you? Try and find the dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite long. Um, I was breastfed as a baby. Right, I'm not boasting. Um, right, which a lot of people say is the best way. Right, but I grew up with my dad. Right, and I think I was missing some of those nutrients. Um, first six months. Um, anyone celebrating a birthday? This year? Anyone? <laughs> It's, it's my girlfriend's birthday tomorrow, and I haven't even got her anything yet. And the thing is, she's, she's really difficult to buy for. Like, every year, she just wants me to surprise her. Right, every year, and every year, it becomes more and more difficult to actually surprise her. Like, last year, what I did, I couldn't think of anything. And last minute, I ended up, I got my two eldest sons, I got them to go around to where she worked, with flowers, chocolates, and little cake, and sing happy birthday to her in front of all of her work colleagues. And it worked really well, you know. She had no idea I had other kids, you know. <laughs> I used to work with a guy, and I said, what are you going to do after you retire then? Because he was about 45. And, you know, he had, he had, he had 15 years minimum left, and he went, I'm going to move to Spain. Cause, uh, and die there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, that's pretty yeah, much the bottom yeah. line. I'm going to die in Spain with paper bags. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy in the post office and he was like retiring. He'd worked for 40 years, he was retiring, and it was just so fucking depressing, man. Yeah. He was like that guy in um, Shawshank Redemption. You know, when he goes and hangs himself, <laughs> it looks like him as well. Oh, oh, God, Brooks. <laughs> oh, but he went, he went, so he was saying, oh, I'm going to move to Spain. Because I, I went there on holiday with my wife for five years ago and they've got these really big tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Order them on the internet, don't Yeah, yeah, he said, I love big, I love those big tomatoes. That is so and When I live in Spain... He might have loved big tomatoes. <laughs> I 
I think he was just wanting to die. <laughs> in some uh, he does know in England you can just get two tomatoes. There's a new Sainsbury's bruv. Yeah. <laughs> like my lazy ass of a therapist just kept banging on about all my issues stem from my relationship with my mum. Right, and I don't know why he keeps bringing that sexy bitch into it. <laughs> What's, that, like? What's, that? What's that little hottie got to do with it? Um, <laughs> People say it must be quite scary getting up here and doing this. People say you must get quite fearful, like public speaking. It's like one of the scariest things people can do, public speaking. Like Years ago, it was like saber-toothed tigers and mammoths. <laughs> what a bunch of pussies are we nowadays? You know what I mean? It's public speaking. It's weird. Because it's an irrational fear, you know, the fear of it. It's not real fear. Right? You don't know fear until you pull a man from a blazing car wreck and try in vain frantically to resuscitate his scorched, limp corpse. What you do know is that you failed your driving test. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of fear really sobers you up, doesn't it? It's, it's funny, yeah, how what may be funny thing written down may be different when said out <laughs> loud. <laughs> Yes, I agree. <laughs> um, something written down may work differently from what's written. I, I sometimes I tweet stuff and go, oh, yeah, that worked. I'll say that on stage. But sometimes uh, a rowdy Friday night <laughs> club want to hear the word fuck at the end of a yeah. thing. Funnily enough, when I write one-liners, after a while I realise that this premise is funny, but the word order or something like that <laughs> changes it so much. So you could go on stage one night and say what seems like to be conceptually the exact same joke. And the next day you think, oh, no, that word needs to be the last word because it ends with a K. Or literally stuff like that. Do you notice that? Yeah, Or the yeah. T or something like that. Yeah. A letter can have a funny sound and like yeah, a yeah, word yeah. can have a funny shape. Yeah, yeah. It, it can yeah, be as simple as... It's also what information you're giving them. You can sometimes give them too much or too less and it doesn't quite make sense on the punch. Yeah, if you, if you make it too easy... Play around with it. If you make some, like, especially with one-liners, you make them so really easy... They can see it coming. Yeah, or they don't feel as clever when the punchline does come because they haven't had to do enough work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes you'll find with doing... The journey to it is... is That's is my favourite kind of laugh, the ones where they go... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I love those laughs. Yeah. I don't need cocaine. I just like the smell. I just like... <laughs> <laughs> I think steroids, as drugs go, like steroids get quite a bad name, don't they? They get a bad press. I've been doing them since I was a little girl. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, mean. <laughs> I don't do any of that crap, man. I do smoke weed. I smoke weed. Right, and I think it's fine. I don't think it. Do I think it should be legal. Right, it's 2005 for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could suck my own cock. <laughs> That's my time, everyone. Um, no, really. <laughs> but the reason I say that, right, I've got a friend who can. I swear to God, he can sort of stand like that, just like really arch his back right, and suck my cock. I swear to God. <laughs> That's really immature. Um, I'm, not, I'm not ready to grow up, though. I don't feel ready, man. I think... I don't know if it's because I'm quite small. Can you tell I'm quite small? I'm five foot five, right? Which apparently is exactly the same height as the average 14 year old, <laughs> right? Girl, right? <laughs> Teenagers are assholes, man. Like, seriously. Like, I've got an 18 year old brother, and all of his life I'm his hero. Like, their attitude suddenly changes as soon as they hit teenage years. Like, all of his life I'm his hero, right? He turns like 14, all of a sudden I'm a dickhead. <laughs> yeah? It's like he suddenly realised that I'm not Superman. You know, they're just pyjamas, right? <laughs> But the other day, I, I caught him trying to buy a cigarette lighter. Yeah, bearing in mind that my dad, well, our dad, as he knows, recently died of lung cancer. You know? And I said to him, I said, Robbie, you could just have dad's old lighter. <laughs> do you, what do you do when you're not doing stand-up comedy? I, I'm actually reading about metaphysics at the moment. It's really fascinating, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the book? It's a blueprint for change by a guy called Daryl Anker. <laughs> but I, yeah. That sounds like some sort of manifesto for some. No, it's very dangerous. It sounds culty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does it, yeah. A little yeah. bit. Maybe I should put it down. Yeah, that weird handshake he did. I'm not in a cult. You. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's you weird. have to kill children, but doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work. I used to work just down the road from it, and 
I used to hate I used to hate working and I used to find it really awkward like interacting with my boss. Like a large part of my day was spent avoiding going to the toilets, like the building toilets, the same time my boss was in there. Right? I just used to hate the awkward of it. You just find yourself standing next to them with nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Both just like staring dead ahead with this painfully awkward silence that seemed to last forever. Yeah, and then they wanted to break the ice, like anything needed to be said. Right? They were like, it's Julian, it's <laughs> Julian, it's uh, normally one person per cubicle. <laughs> um, <laughs> always with the rules, man. That's just what she was like. <laughs> we we watch each other, and obviously we laugh. Especially, I think it's a, I think it's a testament to sort of really relaxing into being a stand-up when you find yourself watching another comic and just enjoying them, yeah. as oh, opposed yeah, yeah. to going. How have they done that? Yeah. yeah. Where's that? I yeah. like watching What's comics it? who do stuff I can't do, though. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. That's what I really like. Yeah, 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 yeah you're yeah, welcome. <laughs> the other day, my girlfriend went out, and when she was out, well, I did all of the housework. I did all of the ironing, all of the dishes. I always should do. I did the chimney. I did everything. I did the whole flat. And my girlfriend came home, and she looked around the flat, and she was delighted, right? She was like, she was like, somebody's going to get a blowjob. <laughs> And then went out. <laughs> <laughs> she went to Weatherspoons. Um, <laughs> you lot have been lovely. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you very much. You've been Julian Dean. Bye bye. I was a little bit in my head out there just thinking, trying to moonline or not. But that no, was nice. They were all nice. Nice room. It was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah.